its head down on the ground and look like a rock or a termite mound. Pop our nose off road here. Hello. Yes. We're having a hyena day today. Yes, it is eating something. Now I need to figure out what it's eating. I'm going to stop just here. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure which hyena this one is, but I suppose it has scavenged it from what was left of that wildebeest carcass. Though I wonder if it wasn't the hyenas that, like, like Ali said, that killed that wildebeest. It wouldn't surprise me. Hyenas are unbelievably good hunters. See how cautious it's being. I did also hear a noise. And I think it could have just been a bird squeaking that got that hyena's attention. So we might actually could pop back up onto quarantine on our way around and actually go have a little quick look. Maybe there are some hyenas that are now scavenging on their carcass, maybe some raptors. Who knows? We'll have to have a look. Any word as to which hyena is, is this, um, Megan? Is Crystal confirmed just yet? We're seeing so many. Mm, it's cool to see so many hyenas and hopefully they'll go back to the den a little bit later. Taxon said he popped past the hyena den, he said there's no, no one was home, but I'm definitely going to be following up on that at some point. It'll be quite nice. Now, I'm not exactly sure what part this of this wildebeest, I, I've only presumed that it's the wildebeest because we're so close to quarantine, is feeding on maybe a, a leg bone or something. Mm, should I see if we can get a better view here, Craig? Let me, poke, let me go back a little bit and then just go in a little bit closer because I think we might be able to get a gap through the grass. That's the problem now is the grass is still just a little bit too long. I think if I keep going, yeah there's a gap there. I think it is a leg bone too. It's just incredible the strength that hyenas have in their jaws and the fact that they are capable of crunching those bones opening and getting all of that bone marrow. Though it looks like it's got quite a big stomach this hyena so I reckon that it had been feeding on more than just the odd bones here and there. See that nice and fat. You don't often see very very thin adult hyenas. Well there we go now we can see what it's got. <laughs> That just reminded me of my Irish wolfhound when the, the butcher used to give us all the leftover bones and our dogs would chew them. This is why I say that I think that there is another den here. You know what I'd like to do? We're going to try and follow this hyena because I want to see where it's going to go. If it's going to take it to another potential den site. We've been saying that we think that using another den around here. Right, before the lions disappear, let's go across to Ali and have one last look at those beautiful boys.